What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today, guys, today, we're gonna go over the market. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub down below. It'd be greatly appreciated because if you do those things, you will qualify for an MT giveaway. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much just gonna go over a bunch of things in the market. Um, also sell MT if you guys do need MT, let me know. We're running a stream today at around two o'clock on youtube and then we're gonna head over to twitch at around 3 30 so if you don't follow the twitch and or youtube make sure to let me know it's gonna be a lit stream as per usual but yo we're gonna talk about the market we're gonna go over some pricing we're gonna tell you guys if you should sell your cards today and whatnot so uh let's go over the shooting guard pink diamond filter the filter i do like to check out the market see what's going on and as you guys can see manu chinobli is actually big time down in value that's kind of crazy same with pete maravich so to be honest, guys, it might be a good time to pick up Manu tomorrow. I do believe we are going to have um, the new content is going to be idols. It's almost 110% confirmed idols. I'm telling you right now. Uh, what happens to idols? It might crash the market. It might not, depending on what content we got. We might get two idols players tomorrow. We don't know exactly. But whatever it is, man, today is, is an okay day to sell. To me, me personally, I wouldn't sell. I wouldn't sell. Um, I don't think it's a good time to sell. Maybe the only players I would sell is if you have LeBron James, Tracy McGrady, Harden, Pink Diamond, or Vince Carter, because they're actually up in value. Every other card in this game is actually kind of crash, and honestly, I'm waiting on Tracy McGrady too. I don't think it's a good time to sell at all. Um, going over the market, man, what usually happens when a huge market crash like this happens? Um, pretty much last week, guys, was a huge market crash. So you know what happens? People usually sell most of their cards today. And then next week, they're going to be like, Bugs, why did I sell, bro? Nothing good dropped, and the market's high. That's my prediction, man. The market still crashed because they dropped very, very good content. And I think since we are getting next gen next week, we are going to get next gen next week. So what's going to happen is, since we are getting next gen next week, a lot of people are actually going to be like kind of off my team. They're going to kind of be watching all the next gen guys. So what's going to happen is a market rise is about to happen. And right now, guys, like I said, it is just not a good time to sell whatsoever. Trust me when I say this. I'm telling you, there's going to be a market rise. Tomorrow, people are going to think there is going to be a market crash. They are going to sell most of their cards today. And then tomorrow, what's going to happen is the content isn't going to crash the market because Idol's content never crashes the market. So we're going to go over some snipe filters, man. I guess we'll go over a couple more players before we do get into snipe filters, but let's go over the man mr Giannis antetokounmpo and um he's going for around 100,000 mt nothing too crazy here um but he's actually up in value he's probably one of the cards you might want to sell but then again like i said today's not that good of a day to sell it really just isn't the best day to sell not gonna lie whatsoever it just really is it just really isn't so Giannis. I would keep for now like i said man today it's just not a good day to sell unless you have like a bunch of amethysts and diamonds if you want to rack up your mt for tomorrow if you do have no mt for tomorrow to snipe then you could sell some things but me personally i'm not going to sell anybody i'm not even going to sell my tracy mcgrady i want to sell him even though he's so p but uh, i'm trying to wait for his price to rise and until he's out of packs which will be friday we're going to get new packs tomorrow so most definitely idols content tomorrow it's going to be pretty interesting to see what 2k does bring to the table me personally i'm most likely looking towards a couple things man like i said idols um we're probably gonna see maybe a Dwayne wade tomorrow i think they usually do drop Dwayne wade in idols packs so tomorrow we're gonna get Dwayne wade that's my prediction for tomorrow um if we do get Dwayne wade just know that dominique wilkins and Manu Ginobili will most likely go down in value or I mean, go up in value. That's why I feel like it is a good time to pick up Mono Ginobili. In my opinion, I love his jump shot. A lot of people don't like it, but I think he's a very good card. And I think if you add shoes to him, he does become an absolute monster. Trust me, man. Mono Ginobili is a very good card. Don't sleep on my man, Mono Ginobili. I do have a shoe on him. He's very good. I kept him all year. Um, I did sell some of my investment Monos just because I needed some MT. But right now, man, it's most definitely a good time 
to actually not sell your cards and not stock up on cards either today is just a day to snipe like literally right now on the market you should not be doing anything other than just sniping there is no way you should sell or buy cards right now right now the market is at a complete standpoint it's literally like th this was the market so last week the market was going up right what happens was the most giant crash happened and now the market's pretty much just in the middle right now it's not a good time to sell it's not a good time to buy it's just neutral you guys should not do anything with your cards just keep them like i said unless you have some amethyst players unless you have no mt if you need mt sell some scraps guys sell some like ruby players some diamond players a little bit of amethyst if you have like david west i think david west is gonna rise in value one of the cards i think you should invest in if you have extra mt but for tomorrow you're gonna try to get your mt to 100k by selling scraps you need 100k mt to snipe at all times so as you can see i don't have a lot of mt i'm at 148k i'm trying to save all my mt for the big day tomorrow because there's gonna be a lot of sniping is there gonna be a good time to invest tomorrow we will see me personally I don't think there's going to be a market crash. And I think next week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the market will go back up. Trust me when I say this. When there's a huge market crash, it's very hard for the market to recover fast because there's just so much moving in the market for that whole entire week and week after. So what's going to happen is since the market is like this, it's going to rise next week. It's period. I'm telling you right now, it's just not a good time to sell. And without further ado, let's get into some snipe filters because I know you guys are here for some snipe filters. Uh, I'm going to go over budget ones. A lot of people have been asking me, dude, I need budget snipe filters. I, I feel like I always put up budget snipe filters though. But uh, here's the best snipe filter in the game. Pink Diamond Southeast. What does, what's on this snipe filter? Well, we got Tracy McGrady and Pink Diamond LeBron James that's going for around 1 mil MT. One of my subs sniped out LeBron for 100k. Don't ask me how, but anything's possible. We also got Gilbert Arenas on here. So as you guys can see, this snipe filter is very solid. You can make millions of MT. If you get one LeBron, you made a mil MT easily. You made 1.5 mil MT. So here's another tip, man. If you do want to get more MT on your investments, add some gold badges to them that you just have scrapped up in your collection. Because me personally, some gold badges go for like 2k. And not only that, since they're going for 2k people gotta get fooled by what badges they have in my opinion so if you have like 10 more badges on tmac gold you drop like 20k extra his auction might sell for 40 to 50k extra so that's another tip and another tip for selling your cards if they're a bid um you always want to look at one thing you want to look at what's posted before it so for instance man we're going to go over tracy mcgrady and i'm going to go over some tips so Tracy McGrady, you want to look at the three hours, 59 minute mark. So right now is not a good time to post TMAC because they would be bunched up, meaning that all the buyers are not really focused on your card. They're focused on two cards. So what's going to happen is maybe you might get screwed on the bid. So what I would do is I would sell TMAC once this car goes down to three hours and 50 minutes. You just got to pray that no one else does put up their card around the same time. That is exactly how I do it. I don't know how you guys do it, but that's another tip for bids. Same with Diamond Giannis, another card that is insane in this game. I am the biggest Giannis fan there is, but this is another card that I do feel is going to actually rise still. This card is insane. I've used pretty much every card in the game, and I can still say this is the best small forward in the game. He's better than Dominique, I'm telling you. But yeah, um, this card, not it's not a bad time to put it up now if you do want to sell him. Me personally, I'm never selling this card until they do drop a new Giannis. But uh, pretty much... Pink Diamond Southeast filter, man. For budget ballers, we got the Amethyst filter, man. This filter has been going absolutely insane. People have been glitching uh, a bunch of Amethyst filters. If you don't know what the glitch is, go look up Auction House Glitch by my name and you will find out what it is. But yeah, a lot of people have been glitching this glitch. Um, 9K, I feel like Karam Butler's not a bad investment. He's a really, really solid Amethyst player and he might even be able to play with Limited this week. So um, I don't know, maybe we'll see. I think he's a very solid player and i think for 8500 i do have a couple invested in him uh i think he's gonna go up but other than that man for a bunch of ballers just go ruby cheapest amethyst cheapest and uh we also have the new challenge so you also want to look at oh we didn't get any players for the challenges so that's pretty interesting but yo other than that man that is all we do have for the video so stay tuned for more content pull it to the stream later have a good one peace what's up guys if you want cheap fast reliable mt make sure to be up on instagram and twitter i am buying and selling mt hit me up right now